Welcome to Electro Online. So now let's take a look at the Van der Waals equation. What is that? Well, it turns out that when we use the what we call ideal gas equation, we're ignoring two principles which can be ignored when the pressure is not too high and the volume is not too small. When you try to stuff a gas in a very small volume at a very high pressure, then two things begin to happen. The molecules get to be really close together and there's typically electrical repulsive forces there that will increase the pressure. In addition to that, the molecules, even though they're very small, when you stuff them in a very, very tight spot, in a very tight space, they actually do take up some volume and that needs to be accounted for. So it turns out we have two constants, A and B, a, which is used for the electrical repulsive forces, and B, which is a constant used for the, the fact that they take up volume. And then the ideal gas equation turns into something like this. There's an adjustment factor for the pressure due to the electrical forces, and there's an adjustment factor for the volume because the, the molecules take up some space. And so then what we can do is, let's say we have a situation where there's a certain amount of moles of gas, a certain volume that you try to push them in at a particular temperature, and these are the constants of that particular gas. Every gas has its own set of constants. And using the, uh, the liter atmosphere per mole per Kelvin constant for the gas constant, because we're going to be using liters in this case, what is the pressure then? And so if we use the ideal gas equation, the pressure is simply nRT over V, and it turns out to be 30.5 atmospheres. So what would it be if we used the van der Waals equation? We expect the pressure to be a little bit higher. So, let's find out. At this point, all we need to do is plug in the numbers and crank. That's just the algebra part. Finding out the right equation and plug in the values, that would be the key. All right, let's do that and see what we get. A calculator for that. And so, you can see then, of course, that the pressure is increased due to those two factors and 31.6 atmospheres, that's a high atmospheric pressure for a gas and so therefore we expect it to be a little bigger using a more realistic equation called the van der Waals equation and that is how it's done.